you know, since we have you, Scott, I have to ask you um, about a classic thing that I've watched so many times, and that is Scream 3 and you hey, as Roman. Oh, yeah. Come on. Classic. Surprise yeah. twist. Getting to be the killer in a Scream franchise is an honor, I, I have to say. It is an um, honor. It was, I was. I'm, I love that you have seen that a bunch of times. I so many you know, times. Scream Three sort of is is uh, I don't know the bastard stepchild of the Scream trilogy right. or now what are there nine? I films? know it's given kind of a hard time, but I agree. I really like that movie though, and I think they did a good job. Look for a third film in a trilogy when there was only you know one planned. Uh, I think they yeah. did a really good job, and and I have to tell you. Going into that, when I was cast, I had no idea I was oh. the the killer. Um, and they didn't tell me until about two weeks into production uh, where the, the producer, this uh, woman who worked with Wes Craven for years, Marianne Magdalena, said, hey, you know, right? And I was like, I know what? What are there, hot dogs at craft service? What, what do I know? And she said, you're, you're the killer. And I was like, oh, that's great. And I went back to my room and I thought, oh, man. Oh, man, that's so cool. Like yeah. if you if you're in a scream film, like be the killer, you know. Yes. If you're not Ned Campbell, be the killer. Well, and also I thought it was kind of one of the few times early in the 2000s where where they really nailed the meta idea that they were all you know. So it was like Courtney Cox and Parker Posey being the same person. You know what I mean? And like I felt like no one had really done that, and I feel like it doesn't get credit for that. I agree. The movie within a movie was really smart. And I have such fond memories. You know, I haven't seen Parker Posey since we shot that. But I was, oh. I think I was 26 when we did that. And she was, uh, you know, if you'll remember around that time, the indie movie Queen had done, you know, yeah. movie after movie after movie. And uh, there were times, I, I have such fond memories of like, after lunch, being on set, and Parker would just sort of grab my hand, and she took me down to a lawn, and she read poetry poetry to me, and I sat there and thought, like, what is happening? This is amazing, and it's bizarre, and it's cozy, and, and I had such a crush on her, and she was the nicest, kindest person. And, you know, I got uh, I got to work with Courtney Cox again. I did Cougar Town with her. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. I, I kept in touch. I see David, uh, you know, around town. I'm not anymore because I'm not there, but... Uh, it's it was a good group of people, and I I was um, I was sad a few years ago when West passed away. It was it was a bummer. 